Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 3 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Sponsored by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Woo! Good morning, guys. Wow. A little cooler out uh, than I had anticipated. I'm going to have to throw the bibs on. It's about 39 to 40 degrees here. Late, late summer, early fall period beginning. A little bit of a transition here, uh, which, is, which is a really good time to go and chase big muskies. The transition into that fall period really has a, has a significant effect on the movement of large animals, whether that be deer, uh, elk, and here, of course, this morning, we're looking at to, uh, to tie into some big muskies. Of interest today, as far as the moon's concerned, we've got a new moon. Uh, so today is the day of the new moon, and we have a 7.33 a.m. moon rise. So I'm hoping to get on my best spot here this morning, right on moonrise. Slack calm, gonna be throwing the TR, gonna be throwing the 700 Booker tail, gonna be doing a little run and gunning. So stay tuned here, we'll see if we can't score on a hog. Operator wants to wants to do a little twirl with you this morning. There's bait fish all up in those shallow weeds. That's a good sign. The cabbage up there. You want to gun it through that cabbage. You do not want to set the hook through stuff like that. You got to be able to decipher what is. See, right like that. You do not want to set the hook through that stuff and blow the cast. You want to just gun it. You just want to gun it. Even if that ends up being a big old musky, it sucks it in. You still got you still got a little time with the top water to set the hook. You don't need to be uh, you know jumping the gun on a on a top raider. There are certainly some fish on this brake line. There are definitely some fish on this brake line. Let's see if, oh, got her. Oh my gosh, big fish, nice musky. What a strike. Oh my gosh, oh my God. It's a nice fish, guys. That's a nice fish. Boy, if she's staying down there, huh? All right, just gonna play this girl out a little bit. Okay, that's a good fish. Uh, well, she's hooked. Okay, come on now, girl. Gonna try to keep a tight line on her, tie her out a little bit. Just gonna try to keep a tight line on her. Try to keep a tight line on her. We can't sneak her up. And we got her. Oh, okay, and we got her. Oh shit. Okay. Whoo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know how well she was hooked. 
Whew. Holy cow, that was, that was ridiculous. Oh my God, oh my God. Right before moonrise. See if we can't, wow, a nice fish too. Nice, nice musket. Oh, I know, nice fish. Beautiful muskie. Barely hooked. Okay. All right, I got her. There she is, guys. Wow! Look at the size of that muskie. Holy cow, big, dark female here on the top raider. Early fall period. You can't beat it. It's the last, last real good top raider bite of the year. And this big muskie fell for it came in like a locomotive man big old freight train musky right there look at the size of that sucker let's get her back and i will tell you exactly what it took to get this beast into the net wow gorgeous fish that's about as good as it gets right there Wow, I, I haven't even had, uh, you know, my third cup of coffee yet, and I'm tangling with one of the biggest muskies of the season, and even better yet, on a top raider. Wow. Uh, now, you could have said that I called this muskie because, you know, just in my mind, I was gearing up for this particular spot and this particular lure, you know the late summer and early fall period here it's labor day weekend here in northern wisconsin this is one of the best best single best times to fish a top water and here i'm with my favorite the top raider here uh, and there's a number of reasons why i like fishing a top raider late in the season here you know the summer part of the season and early fall the weeds are peaked at this time of the year. They're starting to die off because, you know, that daylight is, is starting to wane. We're, we're losing daylight, so the day is becoming shorter. But, you know, the weeds are still really thick. There's a lot of, you know, little minnows and various, uh, you know, perch and panfish species that are still holding up in these, these shallow weeds. And you need either a top raider or a slot master to get it through. When you got the slack calm, kind of overcast conditions like this, it, it really just screams TR. You can't not throw a top raider uh, in these, under these type of conditions. But a couple really important things that lead to success, uh, you know, that led to my success this morning on this fish. One, it's the new moon phase today. Today is the day of the new moon and that means big fish are moving. And not only that, but we hit the best spot on this lake at moonrise, which fell very close to within the hour of sunrise anytime you have a a so lunar uh you know a, a sun uh you know sunrise or sunset that pairs up very nicely with a moonrise or moonset you're gonna see something big happen and that's exactly what we just did here need a long rod to handle these fish st croix legend elite nine foot medium heavy uh you know it's it's got the length to suck up that slack line and a hook set when the muskie hits the top rigger way far away like we had here and uh you know when you're fighting a fish around the boat you know around the bow there on the front you need that you need that long rod to do that so guys this is all about you know transitional period here we're moving into fall big fish are moving be on your best spot on moonrise or on a major so lunar period here you got the sun and the moon teaming up and we just teamed up on a big big hog muskie one of the best of the year guys really hope you enjoyed this segment and as always thanks for watching mm -hmm.